Okay, so I'm jumping straight into um, diagrams.net, uh, which is also at draw.io. Um, so I can call it drawio, um, like there. So this is um, in a web browser. And once you type in draw.io, it'll take you to um, a page where you can immediately access um, the Drawio um, apps online. That's how it works and you go into the apps.diagram.net um, website and to create a new diagram you just do like that and you can either select um, some of these templates that they have um, so let's see what they got in tables and just create that um, and let's call that test 3 and see how that looks so um, there are all these templates that they have and of course you can start from a blank template um, this is just a very colorful one that I picked out. Um, it looks very nice. Now, um, you can do all sorts of things with this. This is um, what people might call a mind mapping program, um, but it also can do flow charts, tables, and lots of other things. And it's quite brilliant for putting ideas together. Um, and uh, it is totally free. I hope it remains free at the moment because the uh, people who create it have committed themselves to keeping it free. Um, the next important thing is that when you create these documents uh, online you can save them to your desktop by just doing save or save as and it'll save the file um, in a draw IO format which is XML. Now, after you save that, um, you could use the web interface and do um, import from, uh, you know, you can import from um, any of these places you might have um, uploaded to, or you could go to your computer and find um, where it was saved. I've saved them to my um, desktop. And you could do loads of things with these. I won't go into all of them. Um, but you could uh, basically, you know, use the arrows here to create um, other little nodes and you can expand on that as much as you like. You can color them, um, adjust fonts, you know, you can do all sorts of things with this. And importantly, if you wanted to export it as a PDF, you could do that or you could import, export it as an image right from the web interface. Okay. So what's next? Well, um, instead of using the um, web interface to always go back to your desktop, there is an amazing um, app at this address, and I'll put that uh, below in a link. Um, and just install, you know, on whichever OS you need to install it on. So what does the app look like? Okay, let's go to the app. After it's installed, this is what it'll look like. And that is the same file that was saved to my desktop. I just opened it uh, in the Drawio app. Okay, and now you can just work away with this without even having to go back online. Now that is brilliant. Um, so the features in the app are pretty much I've, from what I've seen so far, the same, the same features. And I think there's now an embed on iframe in this. I don't think I've seen that before, but that's great. It might be in the um, web interface. Um, but uh, if you wanted to create new files, you just go in like that. Um, you could either open one from your desktop or create a new diagram and let's see what else 
you can do the kind of complex stuff you can do let's see something really complex um, okay oh this looks very colorful let's do that one and this is amazing so now it's opened up that file in a brand new um, v uh, so you're not in that one anymore so it opens a separate file in a separate mind, mind map or, or diagramming map and you could just do stuff with that you know if you're doing some sort of engineering stuff but um, you could design your um, ideas and maps uh, as you like using all of these uh, amazing icons and things that are around the place right and you can even search for new shapes if you wanted to um, to bring a shape over here you just pull that and just stick it in there like that it's that really really easy and all of this is quite free so uh, things like arrows you could do stuff like that you know bring an arrow in and uh, you could rotate it you could draw it out you can do what you want with it, it it's really so lovely all right so that was just a very basic introduction to draw you um, it needs some uh, looking into and you know just click around uh, as much as you like and that's like one of the best ways to um, learn this stuff I have done no formal training on this you just very it's very very intuitive uh, the way it works okay so that's all for now thank you